Today marks the 11th consecutive day where extreme storms, wind, and hail are forecast to hammer Texas. The cost and the threat to human life, of course, is bad enough, but it's also taking a toll on home insurance premiums. A new study out today says widespread damage from recent severe weather in the U.S. will likely add hundreds of millions of dollars in losses. And in Texas alone, home insurance rates have increased more than 54 percent since 2019, according to a lending tree analysis. The average annual home insurance cost for the state, $4,647. It's the fourth highest in the nation. Nationwide, the average is $2,478. Of course, it's not just a Texas problem. Nation nationally, wind and hail accounted for the most insurance claims of any peril between 2017 and 2021. So could more insurance hikes be coming your way? Let's talk about it with David Sampson. He's the president and the CEO of American Property Casualty Insurance Association. So your clients are the insurers themselves. And, and David, I've been on a lot of earnings calls in the past where they're reporting that they are taking in less money in premiums than they're paying out for claims and expenses. Have they started to turn the corner in terms of the extra rate that they're now getting? Well, there's a, a long lag between uh, when we see the increased cost, cost due to losses and due to inflation and when uh, that rate, increased rate begins to get uh, put into uh, policies because insurance is regulated at the state level. Carriers have to file a rate application with the state departments of insurance that has to be approved. And then you have to wait until the policy periods end before those new rates uh, can be applied. And so S&P Global just recently uh, announced that for 2023, Homeowners insurers paid out $111 in claims for every $100 of premium that they took wow. in. And obviously, over the long term, that's simply not a sustainable uh, business model. You and I have talked before about other factors that increase the cost of insurance, things like litigation and skyrocketing verdicts and, and settlements. We've talked a little bit about litigation finance um, or the fact that just materials cost more, labor costs more, and so then you have to pay out in claims. But let's talk about climate risk. When you see grapefruit size hail coming down in Texas, I get the sense that the weather is just intense. Is it changing? Is that something that the insurers can underwrite for? Yes, I mean, I think that we can underwrite for these risks. And it's always hard, Contessa, to make a direct correlation between uh, periods of more intense weather, a lot of that is driven not just by climate, although climate is a factor, but more uh, uh, cyclical risk. We know that hurricanes uh, ebb and flow based on a decadal uh, pattern, uh, whether you have an El Nino or a La Nina uh, in the Pacific. Uh, but it, it clearly, we are in a period of heightened uh, more intense storms with greater frequency. You, In the lead-in, you talked about how much insurance premiums have increased in Texas. Well, in 2023, uh, there were 16 separate billion-dollar insured loss natural catastrophe events uh, in Texas. That's the highest in history since NOAA has begun uh, keeping records. <coughs> and in, <coughs> excuse me, 2018 through 2023, uh, Texas uh, saw the most uh, uh, losses in any period in, in history, paying out a dollar seven in homeowners insurance claims for every dollar of premium well, that's been taken I, in. Listen, I've gotten on the air and I've said people should just buckle up and expect when they open up their insurance bill, they're likely going to see uh, their, their bills are going up. David Sampson, thank you.